Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Axe and welcome to my kitchen. This week we're going to be making chicken salad and this is one of my favorite recipes because it's easy, it's fun, and you can actually get pretty creative with it. But we're going to go do some basic, basic chicken salad right now and you're going to start off with two chicken breasts. Now you can cook this any way you want. You can boil it, you can fry it up in a skillet, or you can actually even put it on the grill. What we did though is we actually went ahead and just boiled it. And so we're going to take a couple chicken breasts here and these are already cooked and what we're going to do is go ahead and just cut these up. Now you can shred it, you can cut it, it's up to you. We're just going to go ahead and cut this in thin slices. Some people like it a little chunkier, but this is kind of what we start doing. So you just take a, take a knife and just start getting this chicken cut like so. Now in this recipe we're using organic free range chicken and the reason we don't use conventional chicken is most chickens have actually been kept in a coop, they've been injected with steroids and antibiotics and all kinds of other dangerous chemicals and that's why we always go organic and natural with our chicken. Now we're going to go ahead and just take the chicken and put it in a bowl here like so and then we're going to go ahead and start slicing up some celery and celery is great because it's full of electrolytes a lot of people don't know that so it's actually good to eat after after you're done working out it's good for actually for recovery and you're just going to cut these in thin slices like so but it's full of good sodium full of potassium magnesium and a lot of the other good trace minerals and electrolytes and you're going to be using about two to three cups of celery depending, really just kind of depending on your preference. And that's the great thing about chicken salad is you can fancy it up. I know myself, you know, today we're using grapes and walnuts and celery, but you can throw in blueberries and apples and, and sliced almonds and kind of anything you want in this. But again, we'll take about two to three cups here of, of the celery. We already have a little bit cut up, so we're just gonna kind of add that to it and mix this in the bowl here with the chicken. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some grapes in. And grapes are great because they contain what's called resveratrol, which is a potent antioxidant. It's the same uh, antioxidant that's found in red wine. And what we do is we actually take the grape and we're going to put it, uh, just cut it in about quarter slices or so, like this. And then we're going to add that, add those to the mix. And some, just a little fact here a lot of Americans don't realize is we are really deficient as a country in antioxidant. Okinawa, one of the countries that has the longest life expectancy, has about eight times the levels of antioxidants that we do in America. And it's a type of antioxidant known as a flavonoid, but again, grapes has, rever re has resveratrol. Again, very good antioxidant. Next thing we're gonna add in are uh, some, some walnuts here. Now these have been chopped, and you can do larger ones, you can do smaller ones, it's kind of up to you, a preference in here. And we put about a fourth of a cup. Now sometimes I add more, sometimes I add as much of a cup. Walnuts are great because they contain omega-3 fatty acids. Same thing as flax seeds and salmon. And omega-3 fats are known for reducing inflammation. And most diseases today are inflammatory in nature. Arthritis, inflammation of the joints, intestinal problems, inflammation of the intestines, heart disease, inflammation of the arteries and heart. And so th this, these little, uh, little nuts here are going to help reduce inflammation, reverse disease, get your body healthy. So we're going to add those in as well. La last few things here. Actually, we're going to add in some lemon juice. We're just going to take a fresh lemon here, cut that in half, and you're going to do about two, two tablespoons or two teaspoons or so of lemon juice. I usually just take about half a lemon though. You'll take a half a lemon and just go ahead and squeeze, squeeze that over here. Okay. Like so. Okay. Last couple, last few ingredients here. Also, we're going to add in veginase. Now, veginase, this is, a, this is your mayonnaise replacement. And mayonnaise is actually loaded with hydrogenated oils if you go and get the regular conventional mayonnaise. We're, what we're adding in is veginase with grapeseed oil. And grapeseed oil is one of the best oils to cook with because it doesn't oxidize under heat and it's a good monounsaturated fatty acid. It's very similar to olive oil. But again, you can pick this up at Whole Foods, almost any natural health food store, even a lot of uh, even just regular grocery stores now are carrying this veginase. And we're gonna add in about two thirds of a cup. And we've got a third of a cup here, so we're gonna do a couple of these. But we're gonna go ahead and add this in, like so. It's about two thirds, of, or one third a cup there. We're gonna add in a couple more. And again, we're getting some good healthy fat here in the veginase, those omega-9 fatty acids, known as monounsaturated fatty acids. 
Last few things here, we're gonna add in just a little bit of black pepper. It's kind of up to you how much you wanna add in. And then we're gonna add in sea salt. Okay, we're gonna add in about a t one to two teaspoons of sea salt. I'm just gonna grind it over here. And this is kind of the taste. I like quite a bit of sea salt in here. And sea salt's great because it's full of trace minerals and electrolytes. Specifically, it's got quite a bit of magnesium and potassium in it. And this is way, way better than your conventional salt that's actually gonna cause heart disease and other health issues. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take the chicken salad and we're gonna start mixing it up. Our chicken salad is now ready to serve. Just remember a few things. Number one, you can be creative when you're cooking. If you don't like celery, hey, take the celery out, add something else back in. Also remember, there are all sorts of dis different situations where this chicken salad is good. It's good actually to do dinner for the whole family. It's good to bring on a picnic. It's also great for the kids. You know, if your kids are, you know, you're, they're used to eating all the junk at school, you can actually throw it on some Ezekiel bread, make it into a lettuce wrap, send it to school with them, order your husband at work, whatever you wanna do. Again, great options here with the chicken salad. Also remember, this is a very nutritious. It's loaded with all natural ingredients you can pick up at any store and even health food store. And this is gonna bring health to your body, help transform your health and life. So try the chicken salad, let me know how you like it. I'll see you next week.